Good evening, people. So, I... People have been... Uh, some people, or maybe, I don't know, I think it's one. I'm not sure. But I wanted to do this anyway because, I mean, it's Warcraft, for goodness sake. So the Warcraft official trailer is out for the, mo the movie, that is. And I wanted to give my thoughts because there's some things here and there uh, that I have, like, I'm reacting to. So we're going to watch the trailer. We're going to stop uh, where, they, where there are some stuff where I'm just wondering about stuff. Uh, so let's just get straight to it. First of all, just gorgeous, gorgeous, and from what I'm thinking, we're watching already. I don't know why, but I'm getting feeling this is Dalaran, possibly, but it seems really small as well. But at the moment, but you see the big spire. I don't think this is Karasan or Medivh's tower. I'm not convinced that is that. It's been at peace. It's something is Stormwind. Oh my God, Stormwind looks. Beautiful. I have no words for how beautiful this looks. We see, obviously see where Storming Keep is, or no, that no, that, no, no, no. Sorry, my fault. Uh, that's probably the church, the big one thing in the middle. I'm not sure if you can see my mouse. Uh, but at the side, I think we have the keep. I believe so. It might because I think that might be the church uh, we see in the middle here. Now this is a little bit strange. Hold on. Oh shit! I fucked up. This. I believe that is Cad yeah, Cadgar, sorry, uh, running in the middle there, and around him we have the Council uh, of Dalaran. I'm not sure exactly sure what it was called, but I believe that is the Council. Uh, so we might have some Antonides here and such. This is probably where Cadgar is given his mission to follow Medivh, I think, or study under him. Um, uh, that's what I'm certain of. Feel it. Dark forces are upon us. <laughs> dying. There is nothing to go back to. If our people are to survive. Now I just have to see, just I have to mention this scene looks so we brilliant. Look at this. This is Westfall. This is Westfall. If you play World of Warcraft, you can even see Harvest Golems there. You can see Windmill. You recognize this place if you played World of Warcraft, especially with, of course, the Harvest Golems because they are like the the strong berry on the top of the ice cream, I guess. And of course, the orcs just looks amazing. And Duratan and Orgrim. Oh, and the wolf. I'm not sure what the wolf was called again. They mentioned it in World of Draenor, I believe. S no, 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 I'm, I don't remember. But looks uh, gorgeous. Whatever. Green Jesus. Happens. Whatever happens. If we do not unite, our world will perish. Now, this is something that got me really interested, because is this Nasul, or is this just a normal shaman? We see tons of lightning around there. Uh, just, just, just a small glimpse here. Uh, but I don't know why, but the mask convinces me this is Nasul uh, that we will see. What role he plays here, I'm not sure, or certain of. Or this is just a normal shaman, maybe some combat here with lightning, I don't know, but... The first time I saw it, I thought of Nurse Suit because of the mask and lighting, because he was still shaman at this time. This doesn't need to happen. There is one who may help us. For orcs, there is no other life but war. Now, this tower I don't think is anything special. Uh, really, I don't think it's anything major. It might just be a normal uh, outpost for the humans of Stormwind, but you might... I don't know, I... Uh, for, for some reason, I was thinking of Redridge when I was looking at this. Redridge, uh, close to Elven Forest. So, could be. No, but with the human's help, there could be. Why are you here? To save our people. Now that, I was like, what? That was like the twist I did not expect. Is the Frostwolf clan and the humans of Storming gonna team up to try and, you know, save the orcs and all that? Because that's a little bit weird twist, because if I remember right from Warcraft 1, uh, of course Stormwind was completely obliterated, and Dothar and Khadgar and Anduin, and, uh, no, Varian, sorry, uh, they fled to order one, and of course Warcraft 2 began there, and all kind of that, and Duratan and, and um, oh, his wife, was killed later by Gul'dan's assassins, because they knew too much, and they also told uh, Ogrim. So, this is kind of strange, and uh, we're gonna see Duratan Choosing to team up with the humans. Save our people. 
Now, once again, that looked like Dalaran to me. Y up in the sky. I don't know why I thought up in the skies, but... Uh, or high, but high up in the air. I don't know. I thought of Dal Dalaran again. <laughs> Can we trust him? They're beasts. They should all be destroyed. Now that... Is that Gul'dan we're seeing? I see spikes. Uh, immediately I thought of... He, I remember from Wolves of Dreno how he looked like. He had this robe with these kind of spikes, spiked shoulders. But when looking at, looking uh, at it again now, it looks like a fell orc with you know this guy has spikes and everything. Uh, we can try and look at that clip again. No sound this time. Uh, punches and then bam! Is he green blood coming? Um, I don't know if we can get a better stop at this. Busy Duritan uh, going in there and bam! I, I don't know why I thought of for some reason. Uh, uh, Gul'dan, but then I realized, no, he's too big. Uh, so a fell orc by looks of it, which Sturitan completely does not agree with. So we can just keep going. Are you sure about that? So, does this, like, are we getting a repeat of Wolves Draenor kind of in story here? Is Olgrim and Duritan gonna turn on each other because, of course, Duritan wants to help the humans, uh, or save his people? While I guess Ogrim is following the mainstream with killing all the humans and all kind of that. There, like he said earlier, there's nothing for orcs but war and fighting. Uh, because in War of Draenor we know Ogrim Doomhammer died to Blackhand, that is. Uh, and it was just so weird because Durotan and Ogrim were like best buddies. And I guess they still kind of are in the movie. But this conflict drives them apart. That, that's what I think, I guess. We'll protect the kingdom. Now, I'm not sure uh, what I remember here. I might be completely wrong, but wasn't it Medivh and Garona who kind of had a r small relationship? I don't remember Lothar. I could be completely wrong. I could be com completely wrong here. But, uh, eh, guess it's fine. Uh, Garona is having something with Lothar. It's kind of cool and to see. You and I. This scene looks beautiful, uh, but is the king dead here? It looks like so. There's a coffin. People are gathered. Soldiers are like standing with their heads down. We see, I think it is Khadgar uh, at the side with the young boy, which probably is Varian. Uh, we have High Elves sitting there, uh, so they probably re represent Quel'Thalas in some way. Uh, we have, is it Arch Benedictus, Fell or God, the guy who f founded the Paladins, basically, or came with the idea in the red robe at the other side. Uh, I believe that's him. Then, of course, we have the Queen and Lothar there. So, is the King dead? Has Corona assassinated the King? I don't know. I, I, that's what, I, what makes me think this scene. Or what makes me believe that's what happened. You side with the humans against you. Is that Kilrog or Blackhand? That is my big, 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 big question. Big question. I believe this is Blackhand. Uh, I mean, if we're thinking correctly, he was War Chief of the Horde, or... War Chief. I mean, Gul'dan was leading the entire thing behind the curtains with the Shadow Council, but I think this is um, Blackhand. But for some reason, I'm getting the feeling this is also could be Kilrog. But the, the, what he says makes me believe he is the War Chief, which uh, makes me think of Blackhand. Let's watch that again. Against your own kind. So I believe this is Blackhand. I might be wrong. Let's keep on. So we clearly see that uh, she's sending Thrall away, or Goel, away from uh, the Orcs. Is she doing this to save uh, her kid? Are they, are they in some kind of danger, perhaps? Uh, we also do see, I'm going to put down the sound, uh, she kisses the baby, puts the basket in the river, Durotan comes running, um, although uh, we can see that he comes from behind. No, wait! Holy shit, I did not see that before now. She runs away from an orc. A green orc. Oh, I can't stop that in time, I think. Because uh, that's just spotted. Yeah, there you can see. Green orc. So I think she's being hunted down. And she's sending her child away so he will survive. Which maybe will lead to the whole black uh, black ball thing. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's a, she's being... Uh, uh, oh god. Chased by an orc. We're probably getting killed. Something like that. <laughs> Let's keep on going. This is suicide. We have no choice. We should attack with full force. Whatever you plan to do, do it now! Oh, uh, one, two, 
quick here. So we see Lothar running through this kind of lightning storm, which takes me back to the whole thing with Nurse Sul. Is there a chance that um, we're going to see Durutan and Lothar teaming up against Nurse Sul, or this Shaman? I don't know. Uh, but we see the lightning, and I just think of Nurse Sul with a scene earlier. Could be something with a dark portal, or we could see something... Uh, with Medivh or Khadgar trying to stop orcs, I don't know. Uh, but I immediately thought of Nurse Sul. No! So there we go, now we have seen the entire trailer and what do we think of it? Well, the teaser got me even more hyped, but I got, kind of got really curious when I watched the, the trailer itself, and, well, I think, I I'm definitely going to watch the movie, don't get me wrong with that, I'm definitely going to watch this movie. Um, but, am I as hyped, or even more hyped? I'm a little bit more hyped, I'm going to admit, the story is pretty interesting, uh, that we're going to see Durtan and Lothar teaming up, uh, but we have not seen anything from Medivh or Khadgar, barely at all, so, I'm curious to what they have planned with this, I think, believe the movie was coming out, the 10th of June, if I remember right. Uh, so I'm going to be waiting and going to watch the movie. And I, I want to know what you people think about the trailer. Because I could, first of all, I got really te uh, teased by the hype. I got really hyped by the teaser they made for this. Because I kind of know the story of Warcraft 1. Not 100%, but a little bit. And then I watched this and I was like, that was not what I was expecting. That twists with oh, uh, Durutan teaming up. So, anyways, the, the the actors and everything looks great. The CGI and everything looks great to me. Um, definitely looking forward to watching this. So that was my reaction to this uh, and explanation uh, walkthrough of this Warcraft trailer. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys. Bye bye.